For dinner tonight, we're going to make a sautéed baby bok choy and then put it on top of a bed of quinoa with some avocado on top. It's going to be a sesame style bok choy. So this is baby bok choy. It's really soft. It has this nice, a little bit sweeter of a flavor than some of those, some of the bigger bok choys that you might see in the store. We're gonna chop it up, get our pan hot. This meal, this part of it can be done in five minutes. On the stove, I have quinoa heating up as well. So we're gonna make some quinoa while this is cooking. You can check out my other video to see how we make quinoa. Quinoa and rice are two amazing staples that I really never, like I don't ever not have them <laughs> cooked in the house. Because if you already have quinoa cooked and rice, then all you need to do is cook up or saute some vegetables and you have your whole meal. And you can have your whole meal made in like five minutes. I think the key with eating plant-based or eating a lot of vegetables is you have to make it easy. Right? So you have to have things prepped. And when they're prepped, then they're, then they're quick. Right? Like, how fast is this to just cut up some veggies? Like, that's, that's your ultimate fast food. So we got these. We're going to put some olive oil in the pan first. We're going to use sesame oil too, but if you use all sesame oil, it can be a little too strong. So sesame oil is a really intense flavor. So just, just a couple sprinkles. It depends on, again, how... How much sesame do you like? So we're gonna do this all to taste. We have the pan on a medium heat. I'm actually gonna turn it up a little higher. We have it on eight. And we're gonna let that saute up. While the bok choy is cooking, I'm gonna cut an avocado to put on top of it. So we have a nice ripe avocado. We know they're ripe because the skin is dark black and it's soft. Perfect. Beautiful. The bok choy is going to be totally to your taste too. Some people like it a little bit more firm. I like my veggies a bit more on the soft side. It's up to you. At the very end, we'll put a bit more sesame oil on too. The sesame oil is nice to cook with, but it's also used as a finishing oil, so it adds a little bit of flavor at the end. So we can put a couple drops on top and we're done. We'll finish cutting the avocado. So I'm just taking my knife and not using a whole lot of pressure, but just sliding it through the avocado so we can have some nice thick slices to put on top. A tip with avocado is if you save the seed, if you're not going to eat the whole avocado, you can actually keep the seed in it and it'll keep it from turning that brown kind of funky avocado once it sits out for a little while. So the seed in will keep it nice and fresh and keep that skin that really beautiful green color. And if you make uh, uh, guacamole, if you make guacamole, you can also just take the seed out and put it into the bowl of guacamole too to keep it from turning colors. And what I like to do when it's close to the end is take some Bragg. So Bragg is liquid aminos. You can also use coconut aminos. But it gives it that um, soy sauce flavor. Um, but for me, I digest it a lot better than soy sauce. So I love to use Bragg. Bragg is something you can put in all sorts of different recipes. That's another staple. It's nice to have around the house. and help slide the avocado out of the skin. Finish it with the avocado. Then we can take a drizzle of the sesame oil. Just put a little bit on top of the avocado for a little extra flavor. Now these are black sesame seeds and sprinkle a couple of black sesame seeds on top. 
If you want another opportunity to get some more plants and some alkalizing greens into There's your life. There's something called Power Shake that I love. It's a actually really good tasting green drink. I'll put a link to it in the comments below. And then there's a $50 off coupon code. It's get better. G E T B E T T E R. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. <laughs>